Hello my name is Didarjan and welcome to the world of science. Today we will know about the great mathematician Srinivas Ramanya Jain. He was born in 22nd December 1887 during the British rule in India. Though he had almost no formal training in pure mathematics, he made substantial contributions to mathematical analysis, number theory, infinite series, and continued fractions, including solutions to mathematical problems and considered insolvable. Ramanya Jain initially developed his own mathematical research in isolation. According to Hans Asink, he tried to interest the leading professional mathematicians in his work, but failed for the most part. What he had to show them was too novel, too unfamiliar, and additionally presented in unusual ways they could not be bothered. Seeking mathematicians who could better understand his work, in 1913 he began a postal correspondence with the English mathematician G. H. Hardy at the University of Cambridge, England. Recognizing Ramanya Jain's work as extraordinary, Hardy arranged for him to travel to Cambridge. In his notes, Hardy commented that Ramanya Jain had produced groundbreaking new theorems, including some that defeated me completely, I had never seen anything in the least like them before, and some recently proven but highly advanced results. During his short life, Ramanya Jain independently compiled nearly 3,900 results. Many were completely novel, his original and highly unconventional results, such as the Ramanya Jain prime, the Ramanya Jain theta function, partition formula and mock theta functions, have opened entire new areas of work and inspired a vast amount of further research. Of his thousands of results, all but a dozen or two have now been proven correct. The Ramanya Jain Journal, a scientific journal, was established to publish work in all areas of mathematics influenced by Ramanya Jain, and his notebooks containing summaries of his published and unpublished results have been analyzed and studied for decades since his death as a source of new mathematical ideas. As late as 2012, researchers continued to discover that mere comments in his writings about simple properties and similar outputs for certain findings were themselves profound and subtle number theory results that remained unsuspected until nearly a century after his death. He became one of the youngest fellows of the Royal Society and only the second Indian member, and the first Indian to be elected a fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. Of his original letters, Hardy stated that a single look was enough to show they could have been written only by a mathematician of the highest caliber, comparing Ramanian to mathematical geniuses such as Euler and Jacobi. In 1919, ill health now believed to have been hepatic amoebiasis compelled Ramanyayan's return to India, where he died in 1920 at the age of 32. His last letters to Hardy, written in January 1920, show that he was still continuing to produce new mathematical ideas and theorems. His lost notebook, containing discoveries from the last year of his life, caused great excitement among mathematicians when it was rediscovered in 1976. A deeply religious Hindu, Ramanyayan credited his substantial mathematical capacities to divinity, and said the mathematical knowledge he displayed was revealed to him by his family goddess Namajirifer. He once said, an equation for me has no meaning unless it expresses a thought of God.